And welcome back to the front row of Section 208 here at Van Andel Arena. Griffin's trailing the Monsters 2-1 through 40 minutes of play alongside Eric Zane down at ice level. Of course, uh, 16-year NHL veteran Mike Knubel, West Catholic dance choreographer <laughs> Lou, Lou Rabeau. And, of course, Bob Kayser with us here in spirit. Hey, I've heard some rumors that Kays may make an appearance here before this year's out. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. like to have him back. Ancada brings it back for the Monsters. We'll fire it into the far circle. Sobrango first on it. Pressure coming. Plays it casually and safely to Dom Turgeon, to Giovanni Smith. Oh, big hit on McElrath from behind. There's a penalty coming. I'm telling you, he's going to be looking for a number. He's looking for a number right now, and he's going He's going over after him. He's, he's challenging him right now. He's like, you want to do that? Let's go. And now they're going to go. Boy, it was a cheap shot, and McElrath may make him pay. They're going to let him go now. <laughs> Dylan was really unhappy and for good reason. And now he's got the uppercut going and look oh, out. Right. Yeah. If that man turned and gave you that look, you'd be running for the hills. Well, he came about <laughs> 70 feet to go. Oh. Well, watch the play here. Watch him coming up. He just moved the puck and I don't know if you could see it on the left side. He got, you know, he just didn't see it coming and it was a high hit up top. That was, that was not very nice. And uh, if you're going to do that to that guy, uh, you're going to have to do that with that guy. And, and, and no Gallant oh, dressed tonight. Yeah, no for, kidding. For Cleveland. I don't think McElrath would have cared if that was Gallant or no. you and me. He'd have come after him, and he was not happy and for good reason. There's a long shot, and Fulcher didn't see that but was positioned well enough to get it with the right pad off into the corner where the battle continues now. Back to the point. Long shot again, Crowley. This one steered away easily by Fulcher, but again, Monsters first on it. Pooh plays it back to Crowley at the point. Back to Pooh now. Spinning in the deep slot. Tries to float one in the corner just out of the reach of Shemich. Going in battle there, but it's all Monsters here suddenly early in the second. Nice play by Dunn. Spinning free of Dello. Has Elson on him. Rolled out in front. Shot score. Scott got the shot out in front and just put it right through. It looked like Fulcher got most of it, guys, but not enough. It squirts free behind him. And the Monsters open a 2-0 lead with an early goal here in period number two. Now we got Giovanni Smith going at it. And now they're going to drop the gloves. That's Smith and Lahead, I believe. And Giovanni Smith well, he's having to watch out at left from Lahead there. Now Smith comes back with a right. Lahead can't quite get that right free. Smith does and catches him. Lahead standing up pretty good with Giovanni Smith here. And now they're getting kind of in a wrestling match, a headlock. Smith slips out of that, gets the right free, throws a left now. At oh, that's had it. Yikes, down goes. Oh, boy. Careful, careful, boys. Let's be real careful getting yeah. up. Lahead caught his one. Shoulder, his arm is really. Yeah. Good. Ooh. Ooh boy. It says shoulder right there, though, doesn't it? Like something popped out. They were tangled pretty well. Lahead has gone to the locker room with the shoulder, and that did not look good, and we hope he's okay. Grand Rapids will fire it right back in. Elson first under the corner, plays it off the wall to Barber, tries to settle it down and does. Circles the net out to the other side. We'll play it back now onto the net. Looking for Pearson, the 222s. He and Christensen tied up in front off one of their skates and into the corner. Elson now behind the net for Barber. Got a little room there. Backhand out in front, puck free. Score! Nice opportunity, and it's finished up by Turner Elson right on the doorstep. A great, just simple feed right through the crease, and Johnny on the spot, the man with the locks, buries it. And the Griffins have cut the lead to 2-1. Just 23 seconds left in the Grand Rapids power play. Down one here to the Monsters, 16-12 to go. They do get possession out in front. Elson tried to get a quick shot off, but again, it goes off of Stick Simpson this time. Played around the near side wall, but held in by Loggins. It goes to McIsaac. Gets a little drop from Turgeon. McIsaac now near side to Loggins with a little room. Let's it go. Ooh. Goaltender couldn't find it. Still loose. Giovanni Smith poking away. Can't get it to go. It's still being battled for. They're still looking for it. Now the Griffins say it is in, and it is. They get the goal to go. Just digging away at a loose puck that sat there for a long time. Referee right there had his eye on it. Said it was never corralled. I'm not so sure the Monsters agree, but it looks like Loggins is the guy who finally poked it in, guys. 32 seconds to go. Tito's handmade vodka penalty kill for the Griffins. Should they kill it, Tito's will donate another $25 to Kids Food Basket. Let's hope they do. Room on the far side. Pooh walking in with a shot. Rebound. Score. Dang. Went right off the left pad of Caden Fulcher, and then I think it was Dunn who pushed it into the empty cage and... The Monsters cash in again on the power play. They are so deadly there. And with 2.44 to go, it's a 3-2 Cleveland lead. 